zero. Hello there and welcome to Laura's How to Guide of Step-by-Step -step Steps for Top Tips on How to Do Baking Top 10. 1. Congratulations on deciding to bake. I'm really, really sorry it came to this point. 2. Never measure. If you measure the ingredients, you'll end up with soulless bread. Soul doesn't have a taste but significantly affects effectiveness and experience. 3. The amount of water at the start is the amount of bread at the end. Use like, I don't know, enough water for you to fit your hand in. That'll take probably a city worth of flour and then and serves at least 20 people, be prepared to need to buy more flour. 4. Put a bit of flour in the water before the yeast, enough to make it have the consistency of pancake batter. I don't know why. I just got told that so like I don't know I guess it lets the yeast bind to the flour or something lol. 5. Add some sugar and salt if you want I don't know I never noticed the difference. 6. Raisins are the secret ingredient. With enough raisins you don't need the right amount of any ingredient. And when freshly baked, it's fucking insane. It's great. It's like one of the 10 good things left. 7. Past a certain point, you'll just start shoveling flour into this thing, I swear to God. 8. Go from whisking with a wooden spoon to mixing with a wooden spoon to fucking going at it with your hands in the bowl then onto a work surface. 9. Goodness of the final product is directly proportional to pain input, i.e energy slash work you put into the bread. The longer and harder you press on, the better the output. Rolling pins are overrated here in this for the exhaustion, so why not use your hands? 10. You never ever ever need more water. If the dough feels too dry, knead it more. If it's not forming a consistent blob, knead it more. If it isn't picking up any more flour, knead it more. If you can't need any more, go away and come back to it. Need it more than 11. Be prepared to nurse this dough for at least a full day of your life. You're baking for a reason, so this shouldn't be a problem. I don't think there's an upper limit to flour input, kinda scarily. If it feels done and you leave and come back in five minutes, it'll be cold and soft again. I think it starts pulling moisture from the air. It's quite frightening, but more power to it, I guess. 12. If you ever wanted to actually look like dough, for your or itself with esteem, keep kneading the same edges of the dough into the center. Don't worry if it doesn't stick. Just keep going without touching the bottom. Then flip it over. You'll have stretched it, bread as shaped, and will feel okay. 13. At some point, you're gonna want to take a break. Apparently you can cover it with a damp tea towel or such during this to let it rise and breathe. Or maybe you have to have it somewhere airtight. I don't know I just decide based on how big it is. 14. When you come back to it it will have risen and you'll be panicking cause you made too much that's fine go ham. 15. Divide the dough up into like amounts I don't know do you have a bread tree thing I don't know or you can use it as pizza dough or whatever. Just don't compress it too much post rising cause there's only so much air yeast can exude. 16. Then you bake it at as high temp as your oven can handle. Be careful ovens are hot and burns are fucked up. 17. Take it out and smile, the bread is bread and it's surprisingly bready. If something's gone wrong that's fine it's not why you were baking. 18. I forgot cheese, and you will have to, clearly wasn't important. 19. I hope it helped. If it didn't DM me Laura number 2871 we can figure out why or you know just chat I guess smiley face so it'll be okay. Things take time. 20. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Then SFO RW at ing. Thanks for watching. My next tutorial will be on how to climb trees safely to get the fruit near the top. Make sure to like and subscribe to catch that.